Hello YouTube. Hello subscribers. Um, I'm Prophet Nikki Pratt of Jesus Wants You. Listen, I was hoping by now to be doing um, the video of the number 23. But I have regressed with this voicing, this, this coughing, and it's all my husband's fault. You know, he wants to sleep with the ceiling fan. And I was doing much better yesterday, and I woke up this morning with this, ugh, it's, it's like, yeah. But anyway, um, I'm, I'm going to try to get this out where I can because my voice gets even worse. Uh, it's like irritated and like deep in the vocal cords from, from talking when I shouldn't be talking. So, um... I sound like a bear right now, but most importantly, I needed to do this video because I had a dream January 2nd of this year, and um, after I had the dream, immediately my past dreams, and I've told her about it, but I noticed the dreams that I, I talked about, about cruise ships um, and tsunamis. I didn't put cruise ship or a tsunami, I, or maybe I did, I, I don't know, but this time I will, because this has got to be a warning, but the dream that I had was very brief. I woke up uh, from the previous dream, went back to sleep, and I'm, I had another dream where I'm back in the water again on a tour bus this time. So anyway, <clears throat> my past dream I've had a dream of being on cruise ships, and I told this dream before. Many of you may um, remember it, but I'm on this cruise ship, and this ha this dream happened twice, and uh, this big body of water comes, and like with a force, I mean, like the force pushes this cruise ship into like a city. I cannot tell you where I was, but it was a tremendous impact that I can literally feel it in my dream. And um, it didn't happen once, it happened twice. A tremendous impact of a body of water, and I know that I was on a cruise ship, and as the water was coming, it, it hit the ship, and the ship just went like boomerang, like flying, and just with all this body of water, and it pushed, the, the first dream, it pushed me, pushed the ship into a, a city. The second dream um, of this impact from a tsunami, being on a cruise ship, <coughs> um, Oh, boy, I was about to say it. And, um, yeah, we were about to hit another ship. So, um, fast forwarding to, and I told you that the dreams were very, like, snapshot, quick, over with. So, but this, this, this dream um, Monday, a dream that was in the body of water would look like, a lot of vacationers, and um, I don't know, looked like some were trying to scramble for safety. I just cannot make out what was going on. And it looked like as I was trying to make out what was going on, I immediately was drawn up, like suctioned up in the air, where I was just hovering, where I can look down and see what was going on. I'm seeing things in the water, and... Um, I don't know, it's like I want to say people was trying to scramble for safety. I, I'm not sure, but I was taken up where I can view from the water up high. Okay, I woke up. Yeah, just like that, very quick. The second dream, I'm, I'm um, in the water, 
but I'm on a tour bus, like like a, a some type of yeah. Like I, I can't explain it. You you guys know you've been on these you know trips. I've been on cruises. But this was like I was on a tour bus, but I'm in the water to where I'm looking at all this water, people scrambling for safety, and there's destruction. And but there's a tour guide on the bus, and there's people just looking out of the window where I am. We're just looking out of the window, looking at it. And I woke up. So, like I said, brief, snap, shot, straight to the point. Let me read you this scripture. Luke 21, chapter 25 through 27. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and the, on the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken, and then shall they say, I'm sorry, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. We know that our redemption is drawing nigh. We know that because we can see the signs that are going on around the world. What day, what time, what hour, we don't know. Okay, we don't know that. But we must be ready at all times. This is the warning to all vacation goers, cruisers, cruise ships. I thank the Lord that he allowed me to visit, me and my family to uh, cruise. When I say I never would, I mean, uh, Belize. Honduras, um, what is it, Mexico, Jamaica, we flew there, but <clears throat> I've been on three or four cruises. So <clears throat> within the last two to three years. So the, the importancy is, the warning is, you want to <clears throat> definitely have here, the voice of the Lord, and pray and ask before you just take off and go somewhere. You know, um, he said these days will come and we'll be given, uh, you know, with, into distractions with um, lust of the eyes and lust of the flesh. You know, who wouldn't want to go on a cruise or lay up on a beach? We all would. But if we know that Things are heated up around the earth. You know, we got a pending nuclear war. We have, and this is not to put you in fear. This is to put you on guard, okay? Um, it, it, it's a lot going on. And you don't want to be the one stuck on the cruise ship and you out in the body of this water and this big tsunami happens. Because let me tell you, the tsunami wasn't like a little swish. It was like, it was a powerful impact. I mean, powerful. And many people who have dreams like I do, you know, sometimes he, he allow us to, to feel it. You know, <clears throat> I've waken up from earthquake dreams, literally shaken, like not in fear, but just shaken from the earthquake. Um, that has happened to me several times. And um, and seeing things through like a bird's eye view. So um, definitely pray. Pray before you go uh, out on a cruise ship. I know people um, that's already talking about it, getting with their families, going out and this is a year of not so nice things that is getting ready to come up on the earth. And if you're not covered by the blood of Jesus, you're not rooted in Christ, you're not covered under the ark of the covenant of Jesus in his safety, dwelling in that secret place, 
you'll be caught off guard. So don't be caught off guard. If this is the ninth hour, don't be caught off guard. Pray. Ask the Lord before you go out there in the waters and you vacation and then take these taking these trips because the dream I had Monday I, I, I wasn't on a cruise ship I was just in the body of water with a lot of people and I, I want to say there was like something set up in the water like a some type of amusement park beach house I, I don't know, but it's not pretty. Pray about it. Um, pray about it. Okay? I love you guys. I'm going to go and drink something hot. I don't know, but <clears throat> I have to get rid of this. Um, oh, to my uh, prayer group. I was supposed to uh, get with you guys and we get on the phone, but you guys would have been the only one talking. I'm, I'm trying not to say too much to give my voice time to heal and all this coughing and, um, yeah. So I love you guys. Stay prayed up. See you next video.